very, very awesome donation. We have a thousand dollars from Sketch It. Uh, he does have a heartfelt message. I lost my father and grandmother to cancer, and even before that, it played a very ugly part in my family's history. So if I can help anyone that has cancer currently or cure it entirely, then this is nothing but a small price to play. Uh, originally, this was supposed to be the Castlevania block, so I can, could say, be gone, cancer. You do not belong in this world, but I'll happily donate now. And I'm looking over. I think they're ready. Let's go ahead and jump into Silent Hill 2 being run by Punchy. Okay, All right. Man. Hello, Rockville. Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> wow. Hi. We're excited for you. Hi. I'm Punchy. I'm Maxi Lobes. I'm McDysis. I'm Plywood. And I'm not going to waste any time. Yeah. Woo! Let's just jump right into this. This is Silent Hill 2. Any percent? Time. Go. I didn't even do 3, 2, 1. I don't care. Let's just begin the game. Excited, man. Brilliant. Didn't crash on the opening FMV. We are in business. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so right away, we're going to save the game, and we're going to continue to save the game a lot. Game saved, everyone, because you can store the text, which allows you to immediately bypass a barrier that prevents you from picking up the map, so we can immediately go through to Silent Hill without <laughs> picking up the map. So we don't have a map for the entire game. This is relevant later. Remember it. He's going blind. So, also, uh, every single time text is drawn to the screen in this game, when you pick up an item, when you examine something, it refills your stamina because the game assumes, oh, he stopped to look at something. You should refill his stamina. Uh, quick saving also draws text to the screen, and because the PC port did not think this through especially well, it also refills your stamina, so I'm mashing quick save a whole bunch <laughs> in order to continue to go fast. And I will do this constantly <laughs> throughout the run. On that note, studio, read a donation. <laughs> Yeah, I got 1683 from someone named uh, Ecdysis. Hey, Punch, remember, if you have more than 1,683 saves, I'll donate $20 to your choice from the guy on your couches. Hi there. Genius. Genius. 1683. Yeah, at GDQ Express, Ecdysis had a run of this game, and he finished with 1683 quick saves. So my goal is to beat that for this run, which uh, might be something of a challenge, given that, you know, if you quicksave badly, you can crash the game or stuff <laughs> it or break it. So, like, goading me into quicksaving more is like asking for things to go wrong. I'm going to do it anyway, because I'm feeling like playing chicken with this game's programming, which, by the way, very poor idea. Bad idea. Don't, Absolutely bad. Don't do very it. bad idea. But fun. Because, yeah, this PC port is uh, interesting. Like, it was ported by British studio Creature Labs, and while they do primarily make PC games, the, the development of this was rushed. Like, I, I'm not, I don't say that idly, by the way. A developer themselves, like, talked to us and said, yeah, this was rushed. <laughs> they were candid about it. They were refreshing, like, British candid. They were like, nah, we slapped this together in, like, a weekend, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so many features of the PC port are busted and don't work properly, and as a result of that, you can do fun glitches. And that's where, like, the heart of the speedrun comes from, is just doing lots of glitches where you wouldn't normally be able to do it. So you've got this long run towards Silent Hill to start with. You can make it a lot faster with the quick save glitch. It fills the stamina over and over again, and eventually we'll be able to get to the gate, and we can do our first instance of, like, well, second instance of, like, proper text storage with, like, cutscene overlap. Because while you are storing text, like I did at the very beginning of the game briefly, very beginning of the game, the game cannot run, like, two of these simultaneously. It can't do it. So if there's a cutscene that tries to overlap this kind of text box that I'm storing, uh, it won't activate, which can, you can use it to get past certain triggers, like the opening trigger that normally makes you, like, go down a hallway, a, a road, rather, and it gets, like, a cutscene where you get the radio and the plank. If I can hold this all the way, there are no other viable text boxes within this entire stretch. You've got to hold this halfway across the town. If I stop mashing quicksave for, like, too long, drops it. None. Zero. Nada. <laughs> if I have a backup in case that does happen, because sometimes the PC port likes to just randomly stutter and drop it for you, which is great fun. I enjoy that very much. It happens more often than you think. It does happen a lot. It's not good. It's very not good. Anyway, so a note on control style. So those of you who have played the Silent Hill series may notice a difference in the way I'm moving, noticeably, and that it's actually really smooth. That's wrong, because Silent Hill is a game with tank controls. So you may be thinking, OK, what's going on with that? Silent Hill 2 and 3 have an alternate control style hidden in the options menu, just no one ever touches, where you can make it so that movement is based on like, relative to the camera rather than relative to the character. Also, this is the cutscene trigger I'm, like, bypassing here. That way I can skip the radio on the plank. So, because of this control style change, I can move in, like, whatever direction I want. Like, wee! <laughs> Tank controls be damned. I, I do not require this sort of thing. So, I can turn on a dime amazingly quickly, 
like this. Like, you, can, you cannot make turns that sharp on tank controls. It just cannot be done. But as a result of that, Silent Hill, you may know, is a, is a game that uses a lot of like, fancy cinematography and angle. Like, it likes to frequently do Dutch angles as well. So every single time the camera does a Dutch angle, my controls will invert 90 degrees. And it's like, oh, so you, have to, you really don't have to remember, very, memorize every single camera angle shift in the game. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because if you don't, you will like slam your face into a wall and look very stupid. And sometimes it might happen anyway, because sometimes the controls don't update relative to the camera angle fast enough. It's brilliant. The key is invisible, but it's still here. Yeah, and he doesn't pick it up because it's just not there. He yeah. just walks over and he's like, I got it. It doesn't, it just doesn't load the graphics in properly. I don't really know why, but you can still pick up the key. It's not intangible. The best part is that you don't have to bend down to pick it up. Yeah, you don't. You, you skip the animation as well. It saves more time. Two for one. That's the best part. Brilliant. So because of this, we can skip straight into the apartments. We don't go through, we don't get the raid on the plank. But because we don't have the plank, we don't have a melee weapon. And that is actually a potential problem. If you don't pick up a melee weapon by a certain point, you are soft-locked. We will remedy this problem later, but the game expects you to have it. But fortunately, because we don't pick up the radio, we don't have to bear this constant hissing noise the entire game <laughs> like you do for every other Silent Hill run. Because in every other Silent Hill run, you get near an enemy, <laughs> Constantly, for 40 minutes. Always. Every single run. Maddening. Are you telling me there's something wrong with that radio? Yes. What's wrong with that radio? Also, some rooms like to like do completely the opposite of what movement direction you input, so I like to wiggle the stick a lot to make it orient the camera properly. And that, I call those random angle rooms, which is a misnomer, because they're not random, but, like, whatever. I, 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 I termed it, so it's whatever. So we need to get the flashlight here, because half the things in this game cannot be interacted with if you do not have a flashlight. Well, it is kind of dark. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I make moving when the camera, like, suddenly shifts like that way... I make it look way easier than it is. It took me a while to learn all this stuff. Most people have ran this game on tank controls because, like, 2D controls were not pioneered until recently. Like, we call this control style 2D controls. Uh, in Fatal Frame, it's actually called, like, objective and subjective style because one of them is objectively better than the other. Very true. <laughs> Like, they put this control style in here for all, like, the pea brains out there who don't understand tank controls and, like, relative to character movement. And it's like, congratulations, thanks. You have made speedrun, like, irreparably worse for me forever. I'm bitter about this, and I will be until the end of time. <laughs> like, they, they put that stuff in the new, like, remaster of uh, Res the original Resident Evil on Steam as well, and I'm mad about that as well. I'm just mad. This control style blows, but it's way faster, so you've got to deal with it. Way faster. And also, the person who actually figured out that it was faster and did the testing was uh, Super Gamer. Yeah, he pioneered the style. Yeah. So are you going to go for the scream skip? Oh, yeah, of course. So there'll be a scream here. I ain't paying attention to it. Normally, James would be all startled, but like, what was that? Some kind of noise off of here. We are soft locked at this point. I can't like turn my light on and off or whatever, but for some reason, if I hit the walk button, it like deactivates and I can use doors again. And a pyramid know. head also shows up. I don't know why. <laughs> he got the skip, though. <laughs> I did. Woo! Woo! Yeah, if you time that wrong, you soft lock the game. It's terrible. If you time that wrong, you soft lock the game, but like, confident, easy. Free every time. We're hitting your favorite puzzle, though, right? Oh, yeah. So puzzles <laughs> in this game are random, all of them. It's great. They're all randomly generated on GameStar according to the initial seed. So I'm allowed to use the word RNG without sounding like a Luddite. Uh, and so, you know, if you know what you have... Excuse me? Invest <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hit no. I flipped to no. Like, the clock would, wasn't would like you, you. Would you like yeah. to progress in no. the game? No. You're going to get uh, 4 o'clock now. Genius. Yeah, so the, the initial puzzle position is random. The solution is the same, but the initial position is random, and you can only scroll the clock hands around so quick. So this is a common reset point for Silent Hill 2. Run. If I get 3 o'clock, I'm resetting and restarting the commentary. You're going to get 4, don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to get 4. He's betting on 4. I'd say 7. 4. 7. I'm, I'm betting on 8. Give me, give me, give me. Genius. 11. 11. That's really That's good. Really good. Yeah. really good. I got 3. Why does this happen? <laughs> so now I can push it out of the way. Yeah, clap for good RNG. Yeah, good RNG. It's okay, great RNG. RNG. We're, on, we're on a roll. So you see these, these camera angle changes right here. Okay, so like, this is, this is hold right. This is, whoops, suddenly 360. Wee. This is hold down, but continue to hold down and turn, tap the camera button, and then immediately switch to up unless you blap the wall like a moron. There's a camera button? Yeah, you can yeah, tap L2 can and it orients it behind you, but you have to do it very Actually, carefully, you know otherwise you'll, like, dive a wall. You'll look very silly when you do that. Yeah, if very you're learning 2D in this game, the apartments are a nightmare. Yeah. This, it's it's oh. windy, the camera angle does things. Like, this is another instance of it where I need to hold down and like be very firm in doing so, because luckily it won't like change your direction as the oh. camera angle shifts, but you have to be firm. You need to not wiggle it in the slightest, otherwise it will update your position and you will crash into a wall. And you will be mad about it. And this is a, a PC port issue that I will now demonstrate. Uh, the PS2 version has a much better camera than this game does. Because, James, James, stay in frame, James. <laughs> James. 
Okay, yeah, he's gone. The PC port cannot keep up with the, the movement. It can't. It just, it will not center on. I think it's all the quick saving. Possibly. I'm not quick saving enough. Damn. You reminded me. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it can't save. It's like, can't save. it doesn't want you to. It's too much. You're going to get 1682. It's overlapped. Okay, now we're outside again, so like stamina refilling once again becomes a concern, so mashing quick save again to make James run into full sprint with his wonderful swagger. The, the hip movement is so exaggerated in James's stride. He's a hunk. He's a hunk, that man. He really is. He absolutely is. Dreamy. Look at him. Look at him go. Okay, so now we need to solve puzzles. Silent Hill subscribes to like the Sierra game style of puzzle logic where stuff just happens, so like I'm gonna... Uh, first, I'm gonna, like, <laughs> I'm gonna like turn in completely the wrong direction on Both, trying to stop. We were all like, oh no. It happens a lot with the work. camera angle for it, whatever reason. It's really, again, with the fact that the camera angle suddenly inverts my controls like 90 degrees every time it does that. It's like, oh, suddenly I'm facing a wall and can't use the can of juice on the garbage chute like I want to. Genius. It's like, I, I want to use. And the tiniest adjustments will completely throw you off in some rooms. It's, it's pretty, Absolutely pretty well. difficult. It's massively annoying. Yeah. No, oh, the double read. I looked at no. It again. You're really interested in the story. I don't want to look Silent at it. Hill 4. My mind Walter Ooh. Sullivan? Walter Sullivan? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I couldn't find the text box. There's a text box that they're supposed to say something like, garbage. I have no need for this. I wanted to look at that and say mood, but I can't do the joke because it's not working. Well, we got to read it off. Don't worry. <laughs> there you go. I told you the joke. I explained the joke. Thank you, whoever said ha <laughs> from the crowd loudly. This is a stumble cancel. This game on the PC port has weapon hotkeys that allow you to cycle between your weapons quickly. You can also use the number keys on your keyboard. Doing that allows you to cancel certain animations, but again, this power must be used sparingly lest you completely screw the game scripting up. I know where to do it, but like doing it all willy-nilly is a great way to just ruin everything. Honestly, keyboard is the superior method of playing. No. Well, yeah. I, I'm using a controller because like when you're playing 2D controls, analog stick does just give you more fine input. Like keyboard is very rigid for this, but you do need to mix the controls. Also say hi to Eddie's butt crack. Well, it's the best thing. It's fancy. Hi, man. Eddie's butt crack. I, 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 I skipped that a bit quickly, <laughs> but we had we had CGI butt crack on there. It was glorious. Oh, we can't show them too much. We'll be seeing Eddie's butt later. Just a hint. It'll be fine. Butt crack. Yeah, we need we need to. It's we need a taste. To, <laughs> We need to pay Eddie's butt a visit before we can progress. It's just a thing you need to do. It's trigger hunting. We'll definitely see more of them. <laughs> it's now progressing into Blue Creek. The, the general objective of this area of the game is to find three coins, put them in a puzzle, get a key, and then escape and fight a boss. Fight. Fight is a, a very <laughs> generous term for how these bosses go in any percent. You should clearly just wait them out. <laughs> yeah, the first boss doesn't actually really have a health bar. He has more of a timer as it were. It's not an auto scroller, but it functions more on a timer than a health bar. I don't like this camera, because it does that, and it's, oh, suddenly the controls, like, the, the, in the span of five seconds, then my controls change from, like, up, is right, right to down, down to left, et cetera, et cetera. It's just a mess. Absolutely. And we still haven't even seen the worst room in the apartments yet. Yeah, definitely. Get that coin. One thing I'd want to add is while you're doing exceptionally well on this, um, use, playing on beginner actually has an auto aim feature, and you have avoided every interaction so with it. Bad. It is awful. Yeah, James will okay, just now automatically. I, uh, I must mix the control styles because using mouse in order to like access the menu here is slightly faster than doing it the normal way. Yes, it is. Don't automatically turn. <laughs> yeah, if you do it too early, you can like turn while the menu opens by accident because it processes movement input during like the menu fade out, which is absolute. I hate it. It's done. No other game in the series has that problem. It's too exclusive. It's also weird that the fastest puzzle option is still normal. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like, it I'm is. playing, I'm, yeah. okay, so this is any percent, and I'm playing on beginner action difficulty because any percent, but normal right. riddle difficulty, you think, oh, easy riddle difficulty should surely be faster. It's wrong. Super. Wrong. <laughs> you did common sense again, you fool. Here's the worst whisper in the game. Yeah, this, okay. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> we didn't get the Suddenly whispers. upright. No. Suddenly up left, suddenly turns around, just and it does it again. Like every single time I'm doing a camera angle change like this, I'm wiggling the stick wildly in the hopes that it orients properly. And actually, that was really smooth. That was that was pretty. I good. will say though, it's sad we didn't get the whispers. Yeah, the whispers play randomly there. Okay, so this is a boss fight. Rather intense. Quotation marks. He'll try and swing a sword at me. He'll fail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's done. Bye. Leave. We're clapping for that. Brilliant. If you hold the gun out and run into like that particular area. Pyramid Head just doesn't swing at you? I'm just like, I don't find like 36 for this. This looks a lot easier. <laughs> Woo! And a uh, fun fact, this is the one place in Beginner that you can die. This is the only place. Right. Because yeah. if you get hit by the, his overhead, it's one hit kill. It's always a one shot. Yeah, the overhead swing that Pyramid Head does does not do damage, it kills you. In any difficulty. It doesn't have a damage value. It just tells the game, kill the player. Well, the damage value is death. Exactly. Yes. 
Can't save. You can't what? save. You're what not allowed. I, what am I supposed to do if not save the game? Like, Get negative saves. No. <laughs> Nasty apartments. Go left. It did the thing where I held left and it went down right. I, why? Why? How? Like, sometimes when entering rooms, the game will do the opposite of what you tell it to do. Like, literally just the opposite. You will hold up left and it will go down right. And it's like, very curious. It's consistent what rooms do this. It's because the camera hasn't had time to catch up yet. Why it does this, I don't know. It's not a problem with tank controls, because character relative movement in a game where the camera wants to do a bunch of angles is clearly superior. And I would defend this opinion to the... James? 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 Bye, James. Okay, bye. So this is that park. Oh. Barry. Bye, game. It came back. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that happens if you quick save during that cutscene. James just breaks loose and goes, yeah, the quick save has a lot of functions. It, it destroys everything. But again, you have to use it carefully or it can break the game. They kind of just added it in, though. That one, you can just quick save and James will just run off into the middle distance and eventually deload that chunk of the map. Because you can. Because I can. Bonker Corner, genius. It's true survival horror. You're True's just letting Maria catch up. Yeah. She's kind of slow. Marie, okay, so like ending type, actually, that's a point. Ending type in, is a factor in this category, but the PC port is busted and will automatically award two points in favor of the Maria ending, regardless of what you do, because one of them is like distance from Maria, and a speedrun would ordinarily score like flat nothing on this category, because we'd be, we'd be balling. But uh, the PC port just awards you a point every single time you're like more than X away from her, so a speedrun will always get this point. Always. And as a result of that, that plus the one point that the game gives if you don't take any damage, because, that's the melee if we need to pick up to prevent a soft lock later, by the way. Because there's a calculation that's like, does the player take X, amount, like, X percent of damage less than Maria? If you take no damage, the calculation is like, uh, can't divide by zero, crap, give him the point. So you, you, if you play well, you will probably get the Maria ending. It's just how it works. Maria ending is actually good for any percent. It's bad in like, other difficulties, though. Really rough. What's your name? Mary? Is it time for pizza? We check in pizza. We check in pizza. It's time for pizza. But is it really pizza? Mm. Well, you had like an entire pizza yesterday. Eddie? You get to see more of Eddie's butt crack. Um, you're I mean, not quite though, it's like obscured. We met in the apartment building? He don't even remember. I saw your yeah. butt, man. How can you even forget? Well, I mean, he tries. He tries. He does try. He has a pizza overdose. Are you alone here, Eddie? Um, no. Um, no. no. Curious bowling ball. To be fair, I can say I acted the same way like every bowling alley I've ever been to. Wait, come back. Good reaction times. Let's go after her. <laughs> huh? Laura, where do I? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. This town is full of monsters. How can, can you, you just sit there and eat Arby's? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's literally all I wanted to do. It was well, great. I hope it was worth it. We've got to keep the sponsors happy. I don't know if they're sponsored this event. I probably shouldn't say things like that without knowing what I'm talking about. Just say they have the meats. <laughs> they do have the meats. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled jogging through foggy streets. Once again, mashing quick save for my life. I want that, <laughs> like, I want to win the bet. I need to, like, go intentionally <laughs> slower, like, waste time and just, like, dance in a circle, mashing quick save. You're going to have, like, 3,000, by the way. That's the, that's the big goal. I hope you do. Game saved, even when it's completely unnecessary. Run saved. Good RNG and runs will come to you, but only if you post game saved in this chat. I really wish we had a sign saying game saved. So one regret. Oh, he's I just need a shirt. Oh, his camera oh, yeah. angles. Oh, his camera angles. No. I do love the music in Heaven's Night, but we're here for so little. No, it's gone. We're out. Bye. This is another. Okay, so I need to wildly wiggle the stick to make sure he doesn't immediately turn around and black the top left corner of the door because PC port, baby. Yeah, if you hold down, you'll go back, which makes no sense, camera relative. But... Absolutely infuriating, maddening. Okay, on... so we are coming up on Brookhaven. The second <laughs> hospital in Silent Hill. I yeah, could... there's two. There, there's Brookhaven. Two. Is Brookhaven a mental hospital? Yes. Alcamilla, the other hospital. And then you have Origins, which made Alcamilla a mental hospital. And then you had Origins, which also gave you Cedars Grove Sanitarium. So there are now three mental hospitals in one town. Sound Hill needs a lot of them. Messing up the kids. This is the amusement park. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> Can't wait to read off these numbers, by the way. Oh, yeah, so there will be codes we need to find throughout the hospital. I'm very bad at actually remembering the codes, so I'm, I'm going to just let my couch do it. <laughs> just leave it up to chat. When I, when they'll, I, they'll help you, they'll help you. They'll so, help okay, you. so, like, I hold the world record in this category, but I have never once done a live run of this without having the chat remember the codes for me. 
So technically, like, the world record belongs to literally everyone who watches my stream. It's like 300 person co-op. It ain't that many. I'm totally exaggerating. <laughs> they help you. All right, we're getting the first number. Here we go. What's the code? What's the code? Ideally, you it's want... It's like 1111. You want repeating digits. You want dubs or trips or quads. Like, what's up? 1814. 1814. That ain't, that ain't 1814. nothing. 1814. 1814 is easy, man. That's a good year. What happened that year? I don't know. It's two years after the War of 1812. How old do I look the to war, you? The War of 1812 actually happened in 1814. Oh, well, whoops. I don't know these things. It's tricky. How do I? This one is not random, though. Yeah, this one is always the same. And once again, mixing the styles. You've got to use mixed input for Saho 2 to, like, to play optimally. Really enough, the puzzles are actually based on the difficulty. So if you're on easy, it's different. If you're on hard, it's different. But if you're on normal, it's always 7335. Yeah, so that, we left Maria to lay down in a room there. Ordinarily, if you checked in on her again, you would gain another point towards the mirror ending. But shocker, PC port awards you automatically because... Anyway, we are coming up here to trigger a thing. Oh no, it's Pyramid Head. James, watch out. <laughs> I like how the fence just bends. He's got headphones on, he can't hear us. Anyway, <laughs> so now there's a, red, there's a red cross in the corner. Get used to that, because that's going to be there for pretty much the entire run. That means I'm on basically like two hits away from dying. Yeah, there's a system where... If you're 167? 8161. 8161. I am blind. 14. So I'm going to stay on like nearly dead for the, re like, the remainder of the run, which isn't relevant, because like worrying about that would entail getting hit, and that's not going to happen. I don't get hit. Right. But okay. do you remember the numbers? No, not Eight, at all. 1814, 8161. I'm glad you remember. I thought it was 6-1. It's kind of hard yeah, to read the blood, by the way. Just guess it. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. I just remember 1814. <laughs> the War of 1814. What was, the, what was this? 81-61. Or a 7 on the last one. I can't it might Just be guess the last one. It's, yeah. No, it's, okay. it can't be, it can't be it's 1 because it started on 7. Okay. Right. That's the only condition of, like, the, the numpad codes. They can be any combination of numbers. The only thing, the only rule governing it is that they can't be the number that the cylinder starts on. That's it. At least you got the treasured piece of hair. You can, in fact, get like all four oh, of the same no. number. That's fine. You got it. It's groovy. Never doubt me. Never doubt my movement. I was like right on it. World record holder, by the way. You got me there. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, you got me in like one of five categories. Don't be bragging. I will not have it. Do not humble brag on my couch. <laughs> well, I did get this hat. Conditional. All right, so we're coming up on uh, the, the second, third, but whatever. Boss. Yeah, called Flesh Limits, which, by the way, before you start snickering, yes, that is the symbolism. Congrats, you're very advanced. This is a boss. Shoot, Shoot him. Boss. Hey, Violet Blood. It's all just Violet, so yeah. If we, if, our, if we position our shots correctly, they should both die in one hit, but the Flesh Limits sometimes don't die, like, quickly. Sometimes they like to move halfway across the universe before dying. So, like, die now. Yes, good. Brilliant. Good, good fight. Very, very good. good. Precisely three. I'm very happy you didn't get the slow death where it just crawls across the room. Yeah, it just goes across the room and then dies. Like, okay, thanks. I'll wait. I have all day. Oh, this is a speed. And now you get those alternate controls. Yep. Boy, howdy. Okay, so now we're in alternate hospital. Uh, the goal is not really clear from the outset of the alternate hospital other than just leave. And in order to do this, we need to find like various loose interpretations of keys for various loose interpretations of doors. And that's just how Silent Hill games work. In this case, it's rings, but one of them's hidden in a fridge. That, that old chestnut losing a ring in a fridge. Who, who hasn't been there, you know? You also need yeah. to find Maria. Yeah, Maria is the only one who can help us get the fridge open. Well, she has the muscle. Yep. She has the meats. <laughs> that took a while for that one to sink in. Now I'm mad. <laughs> Once again, I gotta like rub the joystick vigorously in order to get it to turn properly in this room and do the stairwell. Stairwell movement. Game saved. Game, Game is saved. definitely saved. Okay, so this is unnecessary. This is just a, a habit that I have of just mashing buttons. But also, I want to win. It, just put it down right here. What about the bottom left corner? Mash, mash, mash. Left. Cutscene. Left. Yeah. Down the hole. <laughs> Just place the movement right here. right here. There's the one ring. Are you saving the game, Punchy? No, I'm mashing. It looks like on the screen you're saving the game. I ain't. <laughs> now I'm saving the game. You sure? I'm saving the game. This stream has been saved. Always save your game, folks. You're getting a lot of these saves right now. This is a PSA. <laughs> save your game. You will regret it if you don't. Okay, cool. I have the angle. See, enemy direction, position, and how aggressive they want to be is totally random, so they can just... 
They can do things if they fancy it, but like they're, they're super really passive on beginner, but yeah. like yeah. they could get in the way. They can get in the way. They can force you to take a slower line. Also, that's the only elevator ride you can skip for some reason. Just arbitrarily, that's the one you can do because there's like a, a semi cutscene that plays in there, but it skips the whole elevator ride. Anyway, we needed Maria to get a fridge open. The worst part about the elevator though is that it actually runs in game time. Yeah, it does. It doesn't doesn't pause the game. It doesn't sound Hill 3. It doesn't in this game. Why why isn't this game Silent Hill 3? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's because why'd you like why you like Silent Hill 2 so much, huh? Huh? Well, it has a has a dog. That's, it's always the dog with you people. Dog people. I'm a dog person. I love dogs. Oh, yeah. It is it is the best ending in like the Silent Hill series. Which you fine folks did donate for. I see those. Oh, I got met like so instantly. I was say, the dog ending incentive did get met like well before this one started. That camera angle was the worst one in the game, and I nailed it. Oh, please, you always please clap for that. <laughs> we'll definitely clap for that. One. Clap for that camera angle. And this, have... this is Silent Hill runs. You gotta take what you can get when it comes to that sort of thing. Okay, so this room, every single time the camera angle changes, it's facing downwards. But I'm already holding down, so how do I change my direction? Answer: Flail the joystick. Always. Just That's... every single time the camera angle changes, flail the joystick to hope it like reorientates properly. Can't Ooh. save. Cannot you can't save. save it. I'm doing it anyway. But you are actually saving it. I want to save. That's good. He is saving it. Easy. Game saved. Game saved. Like that, that movement can be a pain because like, how do you turn when you're already like moving in the same direction? It's like, answer, wiggle the joystick like a weirdo. Just I'm not going to lie, I didn't actually know that. <laughs> it works. It works. I'm going to have to do that next. Maybe I get any percent. Like, ideally, you'd like flip it 90 degrees and then straight down again, but like, realistically, you can just sort of wobble it. We're your favorite part of the run, by the way. <laughs> yeah, checking maps. Love it. We don't have the map. Here's the thing, we never pick the map up, so this cutscene is a it's lie. It's all mental. Well, they, all le the they left a map for you for this reason. He's, they knew you weren't going to grab it. He's marking the map that I don't have. Because I never picked it up. This, this cutscene is fraudulent. I disagree with it. I like how it's still on the table, by the way. You don't even take it. No, we don't, because we have the map, except we don't have the map. Anyway, so now we are in outdoor nighttime Silent Hill, and we will eventually be able to abuse a new variant of quick save stories that will become very useful throughout the remainder of the run, but otherwise we're just sort of running through not foggy but dark streets. So studio, please, hit some donations for me. Lots of donations. Hi. Oh, wow. Uh, good to finally be, finally be back. Uh, we have $275 from Uller RM. While you cross Toluca Lake on a boat, we'll post a lot of empty quote. We love you, Punchy, from the chat thread. Love you, too. Uh, $50 from Damon saying, I see Punchy running Silent Hill. I donate. Uh, $25 from Ins Influencer of Personas. Had to give my first ever donation during my first ever live GDQ to my favorite runner running my favorite series. You go, Punchy. Thank you very much. I feel these comments all balance out the, the heat that seems to dwell within you, Punchy. <laughs> How dare you, but continue. 16-bit uh, ferret donated $25 saying, hey, a Punchy and Couch. Love seeing this game uh, being ran again. Keeping an awesome best of luck. Uh, $5 from Friendly, saying, I had to donate during James' pleasant jog in the fog. I like it. Uh, uh, you good? Uh, I just want to say I'm happy he's not getting his uh, feet poked here. It's, it can get pretty bad. Yeah, these enemies can hit you through the floor. I don't ruminate on it that hard, but they can do it. Okay, so now that we're through here, light goes off. It's too dark to read the map that we don't have. But nevertheless, because it's too dark to read the map, the game now completely screws everything up and can't spawn anything. Because it can't run any events simultaneously, and that includes enemy spawning with There's supposed to be an enemy here. There was an enemy here. It's gone now. It doesn't matter. Yep. It also won't spawn in, like, cars and signage and things like that. Just random objects will start disappearing from the universe. And that's cool, because that cutscene we skipped way back in the beginning of the game, uh, it's still there. The trigger's still there. It's just because just we skipped it doesn't mean it left. Like, this is very rude of you to think that, actually. Regardless, still there. So we have to find a different way to get past it. And it's too dark to read the map as a very versatile form of text storage because you can always find a place where it's too dark to read the map once you hit like the second half of the game. So you can just turn your light off and hit the map button. So even though you lack a map, there we go. We got past that corner without activating the cutscene. So now we can go over here, grab the wrench. You need to be like halfway up the stairs. So you, can pick up, you can pick up the wrench without having the bending down animation occur. If you're too close, you bend down. Never bend down. Honestly, I think we should clap for that. That was a really that was, good grab. We're clapping for that right there. What item grab? Fun fact, too. This is the one spot on console that it's faster because you have to run around. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, because of really? the barrier. Yeah, because you can just go up the street on consoles. Oh. You did the plank. Yep. So this, is an either, this is an easy way to handle this. Because normally there'd be enemies around and like you have to like weave around them. Or it could just be too dark to read the map and just not spawn anything. Like, hey, why, why play the game when you cannot play the game? Speedrunning is all about that sort of thing. Just don't play the game, it's overrated. 
Are you saying it's too dark to speedrun the game? It's definitely too dark. But it's too dark to read the map. And it will always be too dark to read the map, because we don't have one. Also, there are supposed to be cars here. You can see these dark patches in the road, maybe. It might be too dark to see them, as well as reading the map. <laughs> it's also too dark to save the game. I'm definitely saving the game mad hard. So if we get all the way to this, oh, this wall's gone. But there we go. It comes back as soon as I let go of the, the storage. And we don't need it for the remainder of this, so we can leave our light on while we progress to the park, get a key. So I think in the meantime, Studio, hit us with some more donations. Yeah, we have $302 from Windslash. Shout out to Takara, who I know loves this game and, and this run. Love you. Hey, Punchy, what do you think is better, UFO ending or dog ending? Donation to runner's choice. Dog ending is definitely better, but UFO ending is underrated. Like, I want to be a hipster about it. It's a good choice, man. <laughs> Harry's in it, so. He is. PS1 Harry, by the way. Not even PS2, but PS1. Yeah, it's like they literally just took his model from the PS1 game and it was blocky glory. It's really fantastic. the perfect model. Absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to say, don't forget the key. It'll be like five minutes if you miss it. I ain't forgetting the key. I ain't doing it this time. I've done it before. So also, if you quick save wrong here, game crashes. It's like, don't. It's like, no, nowhere near. I ain't touching that. I've done this before. It's bad. There's no recovering from that if you like quick save too early. And he got the key. Let's clap for that. Okay, so I'm going to quick save this. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd is very enthusiastic tonight. So I quick saved during the fade out there of the key. Using the quick save allows you to gain control slightly early when it starts to fade to black like that. So I can move, but obviously, it's fading to black. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. So I, I have to like blind move around, which as I've established, when you're playing with these controls, you don't have a fixed input. Like if the camera angle changes and you're not like very prepared with the rhythm, you'll probably like move in like a 360 motion repeatedly and you won't go anywhere. I nailed it and it didn't really look like anything. It was kind of hard. But it's challenging. And there's another one of those uh, coming up at the end of the game as well. There's a few of those throughout the run. Yeah. It saves a lot of time, surprisingly. Yeah, it's non-trivial, because the fade-outs take a while. The, the pause there, by the way, that I did when I was picking up the key is because pausing also cancels the fade-in and allows you to access the menu slightly faster. You save a little bit of time doing that. A little bit. It's worth it. This game's all about them tiny optimizations. That's survival horror speed running in a nutshell. Yep, exactly. Cut them corners, find those frames, Skip those fade-ins, question mark. Like, I mean, common yeah. nomenclature, sure. Save those games. Always save in the game. Because, yeah, when you have low health like I do, your stamina cap is super low, so you have to, like, mash it quite frequently. Otherwise, you start losing speed a lot faster than you would otherwise. And I don't want that. I want to run at full speed. Look at James's marvelous hip sway. It's fantastic. It's imagine, just... imagine being the man who got paid to animate that. It's the perfect way to jog, really. Okay, so now we're going down the long hallway. And I'm, I'm still, I'm a mash quick, I'm milking this for all it's worth, man. But for record, mashing quick save indoors is pointless. <laughs> I'm just doing it because I'm milking it hard. This time it's personal. Are you getting 3,000? <laughs> I'm gonna get 3,000. Are you saving the game? I'm definitely saving the game. Studio, donations while I walk down a long staircase. All right, we have $25 from Puzzlebox. Silent Hill 2 is not only one of the greatest survival games, but it's hands down one of the best games of all times. I knew I had to donate while Punchy crushes another Silent Hill game for an amazing cause. What else was I going to do? Just sit here and eat pizza? Good luck on the rest of the run. It's a long hallway, isn't it? Yes, very. <laughs> you got time. Well, Hamstore donated $10 saying, loved Punchy's educational Silent Hill 1 run last year, hoping to learn new random quirks about Silent Hill 2. Oh, there's a lot of those. Okay. So, I'm gonna hit that button, immediately equipping the pipe with no, no downtime. Another quirk of the PC port, you can do that. So we need that pipe, like I said, because if you don't have a melee weapon by specifically this point in the game, you are just off locked. That's it, you lose. Try again, bub, because you need a melee weapon to break down this weird bit of the wall, and guns are not acceptable for this purpose. You need a melee weapon. Or a chainsaw. <laughs> chainsaw works too. It's the chainsaw's a melee weapon, like it counts. I'm saving the game, but the game save can't stay on the screen for very long in this room. I don't know why. It's exciting. Okay, so now we're coming to Bug Room Skip. The game will probably crash here. So Bug Room is like a random puzzle normally, but if you do a quick, cheeky, quick save and quick load here, you can duplicate the key and thus gain access to like with the key without having to actually do the puzzle. It didn't it crash. It didn't crash. Yeah, nice. And yeah, that saves time over a massively RNG puzzle where you just kind of enter a three-digit number that's entirely random. Yeah, it's, it's a real pain. It's bad. It's bad. You do it on 10 star. It's still bad. It's absolutely it's terrible. Very bad. It, I, that discovery, I think, was like a very net positive for the game because, like, frankly, the last thing this game needs is more randomness. This game already has enough of it. So this this dodge is actually like worse on any percent than it is on like higher difficulties because this guy pays like so profoundly little attention to your presence that he can just do whatever he wants. Whereas like on other difficulties, he actually tries to like move to match you, 
so you can predict him and like juke him. You can't do that on beginner. The, the best defense is ignorance, as per usual. It's been my motto for life. It's worked out pretty well for me so far. Again, that's what I mentioned. You mastering the auto aiming is very good. Like I, I don't want to undermine that at all. It's been yeah. very impressive. It hasn't happened, but sometimes when you like try and like press X on a door to use it, James will like suddenly whip 180 degrees around to like target a nearby enemy because it has like easy mode auto aim. It's the worst feature in every game it's in. I don't know why it was like still implemented in the series. You gotta get three. so close to the door. If you're just a little bit off, he'll just flip. It's even worse than Silent Hill 3 as well. Yeah, it's way worse. It's terrible. So what's the ca this camera angle is jank. So you can use all three at the same time. So I'm gonna hit that quick save and you may hear footstep noises. Very subtle. I've already moved away from the podium before this has begun. Hit quick save again, I've gained control. But what's the camera angle wanna do? That's a straight line actually, that's pretty good. If the camera angle decides to like be drunk and like swerve around, haha, I've suddenly moved in like totally the opposite direction of what I wanted to do. But that did not happen, so that was actually like quite smooth. Very pleasing. We still on that low health, but it, it ain't no bother. Nothing gonna hit us. So we are currently in the process of collecting a wax doll, a lighter, and a horseshoe so that we can form a handle for a vent on it because, again, this, this game subscribes to like the Sierra style of puzzle logic. We melt the wax with the lighter to create a, like a firm footing for the horseshoe in lieu of just using the pipe that we have. This just takes a few seconds, well, of course. I what were they thinking? <laughs> I can't say I've ever been to Maine, but I'm pretty sure like every door there is like that. <laughs> How could they do such things? It make no sense in the extremely boring gamer voice. Going down, down, quick, down. Yep. You're um, saving the game down. Are you gonna heal in the elevator? Yes, I'm gonna heal in the elevator. There's really no yeah, point to yeah. it. Grab the ammo. Grab the ammo. And this elevator's long too. Studio, read some donations while I take a selfie. <laughs> the best selfie, by the way. We took some earlier. All right. Let's well. beat ours. Where's the sign come from? <laughs> he didn't even. Oh, know. He, didn't, he just noticed. <laughs> We're saving the game for you. It's adding on as you play. We'll hold it for you. I gotta get in there. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm, doing, I'm doing the squat. Uh, uh, Wait, hold on. Is in the selfie? Ed, Ed, you need to lean your head yeah, over. Got... I'm in the way. Uh, right. uh, there we go. Uh, yes, uh, brilliant. Genius. My head's like really small in that selfie, by the way. <laughs> well, photo saved, and I have a $50 uh, anonymous donation saying, game saved. <laughs> Can't save, you fool. Well, you can save here. <laughs> that was the worst time to read that donation. <laughs> Go for another one. All right, uh, let's see. We uh, got $10 from Kakusosora saying, hey guys, don't have to have much to donate, but every bit counts. Also, Punch, don't forget to save the game. Less I will not forget. We are landing. I will save the game. All right, Punchy, game please save. save the game. There Thank you. He saved the Thank game, you. guys. <laughs> so you're going to grab the great knife? No, you don't need it in this category. Well, yeah. I ain't doing it. You can grab, like, Pyramid Head's Buster Sword here, and it's used on some other categories. It just ain't used on this one. The bosses, like, barely exist. Don't even fight the one in this area. So the labyrinth is a confusing area with cubes in it. This solution is always the same on this riddle difficulty, thankfully, and it's always, like, two moves. That's tight. Also, this camera angle is whack. This set of rooms is really bad. Yeah, the yeah. camera angle it gives yeah. me on the way back here is, like, basically... I've never found a consistent method for it. It's, it's leaning left, but I'm sort of leaning left a bit as this, well. This uh, hitbox is also really bad, too. Okay, he it. didn't get the shameful okay. ladder. Yeah, Let's clap for that. The shameful ladder. The shameful ladder. I just want to say, by the way, that puzzle's supposed to be green, Punchy. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's, li it's yellow. What you Never mind. Get out of here. We call that the shameful ladder because, like, the, the hitbox for the, the wire clippers and the ladder overlap such that it's really, really easy to hit the ladder by accident when you're trying to grab the wire clippers and you have to go back in the room. It's, it looks very dumb. It's kind of dumb that it can even happen, but hey, oh, we, we take those. This part looks really confusing, but you pretty much just take the first junction every time. Always. And it's always downright every single time you, like, go above the ladder. And this is the, the only enemy in the game that's, like, non-boss that we're gonna kill. Because this guy, this guy's in the way. Get out of my way. Delay. Shoot again. Dead. You, you, well, we have to, there we Let's go. climb for that hard boss fight. Oh, wow. Hard boss. Oh, wow. Truly difficult. You have to delay that shot. If you, like, shoot both the shots too quickly, it won't kill. No, I don't know why. But that's the, that's the setup. You have to also do this dodge on the right side of this guy, otherwise you will not get through him. It looks like you have more space on the left. No, you don't. You have to do it on the right side. That's just how it works. Don't ask me. I didn't make the game. Now, I do want to say the run's been really good so far, especially with the clock RNG. Do you think you're going to get Blind Arsonist? No, it's like one in six. I think you're going to get it. I, I believe. I think you got it. Okay, so firstly, we're going to use Is Too Dark to read the map here to skip this boss fight real quick. Like, no problem. 
There's supposed to be a boss fight in this corridor. It's in this room on the right. Nah, don't want to do it. So, Blind Arsonist, everyone. That was a tough fight. A tough skip, a tough skip. So, there's a puzzle here. It's, you need to find the noose that corresponds to the arsonist. Uh, I could have looked at the solution. I didn't. I just kind of guessed and hoped it was the right one. It's uh, one in six. Like, do we get Blind Arsonist today? Dice roll. Uh, no. 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 I'm calling bottom middle. One in six. Bottom left. Bad it's going to be worse. Spot. Bottom, bottom right. Worst bottom, oh, bottom right. It's the worst one. It's like, so you have a one in six shot of getting that. And if you get it, you know, you save, like, time from not going into the room to check the solution. And the runs are at the point where, like, you, you kind of ought to go for it. It's like, wow, do you really have to reset five out of six Silent Hill 2 runs to this puzzle? Yes. That seems really bad. Yes. At and least we're moving on. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is really bad. Thank and you the for RNG noticing my pain. Even over, yes. Oh, yeah, it gets worse. It does get worse. I mean, that's probably like the biggest bottleneck, though. That's like my biggest reset point besides the very beginning. At least you didn't get it at three o'clock. True. I don't aggressively reset over clocks yet, though. I ain't at that level. Oh, I got a holder, by the way. <laughs> the how it be. Quick cheeky swap to the shotgun. Because we need that for an upcoming boss fight. Also, it's still saving that game. Still haven't managed to. <laughs> it's okay. So the reason why like saving the game all willy nilly can be kind of risky is because if you do it while a room is loading or like you overlap an event in a way that like it doesn't like, which can be anything it feels like sometimes, you will corrupt the text. So random items will say toilet when you pick them up. You do not want toilet. Never get the toilet. Toilet is bad. And this ranges from anywhere from harmless but amusing to like harmless but loses you time because the text box is now slow or crashes the game. Uh, the latter effect is fatal to your run. Also, I can't save. Aww. What am I supposed to do if I can't save the game? Try saving it again. Just keep on trying. I'm so disheartened. I can't save. There's a fun boss fight coming up, though. Mm. I want to save the game. Okay, forget it's a boss fight. Here's the boss fight blinking, you miss it. Dead. That's just the first phase. It does enough damage from like point blank. Fun fact, you can actually kill him with the pistol, believe it or not. <laughs> And that's the boss. <laughs> All right, we there did you it. Go. Can't save. Can't save. Can't, can't save. save. Oh. Cannot save. So I, I got real close to him and got him while he was trying to throw a punch. This game actually has like a counter hit system, like it's a fighting game or something, where attacks that are collide with an attack animation do more damage. You have to delay that shot a little bit, so you get like point blank shotgun damage, maximum like point blank range. All the pellets hit, double counter hit damage, dies in one hit. Also, hey, the boat vehicle section. My lineup was all right on that. Yeah. The way I do that is like two full all rotations to the right and then just hold forward and hope to God it lines up properly. And it looks like I am actually lined up properly. Simple boat ride. Studio. Well, Windfall83 is donating $10, saying awesome GDQ so far. Love and loving this Silent Hill run. Punchy's passive-aggressive commentary toward the game continues to leave me in stitches. I do like this game, I assure you. <laughs> I broadly prefer three, mind you. Please don't crucify me. But two is good. It has a nice. I cried at the ending, the first time I played it. It's really good. It's really moving. We're not going to see that in this run, but it's really movingly delivered. Go for another one, studio. Uh, we have fifty dollars from Hurtzilla. While James Sunderland's adventures are fun to watch by itself, Punchy's and Couch's commentary makes it even better. Game saved. Can you even save in that cutscene or that boat? Nope. Ooh. The boat is also based on your movement speed. So if you accidentally equip the Buster Sword before you go in it, the boat will move at a snail's pace. Yeah, it takes minutes. <laughs> Yeah, they, they hide a quintessential puzzle, uh, puzzle item outside of the, the hotel before you go in it, which confused, like, it confused me badly the first time I played this game. Also, that like, pickup is really hard. Puzzle items should be in the puzzle location. They should not be outside of it. That's illegal. Now it's time for the best trick in the game. <laughs> illegal game design. Piano. Shoot it. Invisible piano child. Be gone. You had to do it to him. I shouldn't waste that much ammo. Did I scare you? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so now this is a hard trick, an actual one. Yours method's harder than mine. I give you full props. We on have this, to by go the way. out of bounds. You have to use it's too dark to read the map to bypass into a loading zone. Then you need to slowly inch yourself along this wall such that you fall parallel to it, and that is that is not correct at all. Not even remotely. You need to fall parallel to it, far enough out that you fall down, but not far enough that you fall back in bounds. And the setup for this is just incredibly annoying. Yeah, this is one of the hardest uh, parts of the game, and credit to uh, the Mexican boys. Justice for finding this out of bounds method. Oh, it's him. I have to blame him for this. Yes. 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 I'm way too close. It's insanely time. difficult, by the way. Like, it is not easy at all. This I'm, really does separate. Dead zone. 
Yeah. This game also has a bad problem with joysticks where sometimes when we're setting to neutral, it likes to throw you to the left because game sucks. Also, that, okay, that's not... that worked. Sure. Wait, I don't Let's know see if, if you that's... get it, though. No, uh, see ya. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't it... think that's good. Is he going to get it? No, I'm, it's, good. it's good. I'm pretty sure he's got it, but let's see. It's good. You doubt me? You doubt I don't power? doubt you. You doubt the power? It'll work. It'll work. It'll work. I'm a little bit nervous. Well, he's saving the game just in case. Plywood doubts the Almost, almost, almost. We're clapping in a moment here. He's going to fall. There it is. Bada bing. Okay. Hey. And that's the out of bounds. You can fall not enough, though. Well, yes, yeah, definitely. Like, I understand yeah, the concern true. on that. Yeah. Nah, it was good. I've done that enough times. Sometimes I just, like, YOLO it and it works. And I just went for it because I failed it, like, three times. It really does suck that that's kind of what World Record relies on at this point. Yeah, it's hard. Mm -hmm. it's at least it's not blind briefcase. At least it ain't blind briefcase, true. So that skips us into the hospital ba hospital, excuse me, hotel basement straight away without having to go through like all this nonsense on the top floor with like the employee elevator, putting all your items away. So you can just get to the basement directly, find puzzle items, and then exit to the top floor with no difficulty whatsoever. In total, that out of bounds saves something in the region of about 20 seconds. It seems like it should be more. It ain't, but <laughs> still, it looks cool. I like it. All right, so we need a bar key. We just need to actually like get out of the basement. Like once you get, we are in the basement. You still need to find the way out and then back up to the top. But we we do not need the employee elevator key. This is a question I posed to. Ed. That's not gonna hit. Aww. Yeah, it's, you can't use that here. Ha ha ha. You can't use that. Here. <laughs> you can't use that here. Even though there's only there's one the item in the whole universe. The hardest boss in the game, guys. One item in the whole universe you can use a freaking can opener on. Also, there's light bulbs in the can. I don't understand this. Is this an American thing? Yes. No. Oh. No, what? I don't. <laughs> no. See, really? Yes. No. Is that a, is that a Japanese thing? I maybe. No. Oh no. He said. It's Japanese <laughs> breakfast. I don't understand this. It's it's inexplicable to me, but like so mundane that it must be something. I'm just saying right now, you're gonna get the word luck for your briefcase because I think you're a lucky man. Oh yeah, there's a there's a briefcase combination that can have one of 19 possible combinations, not 20. The Silent Hill wiki is wrong. They keep reversing my edits. <laughs> That is not a joke, by the way. Yeah, Stop yeah. reversing my edits. Just edit who's mod on it. You should be fine. <laughs> they have the word dull in the word list. It's not there. I have been through the code. I'm calling time, not that the game's over, but it's the word. Just I, I got time. over because yeah. it was sad. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing love. That is my guess for the briefcase code. Uh, I'll go for dark. If you are yeah. extremely spicy, you can just like not pick up the item that lets you see the solution and just YOLO guess it. This almost never works, but you, you, it's an option. It saves five seconds, that's it. Five seconds if you get it quickly. Let's see. Open. 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 Okay. How boring. Well, it's open like your opportunity to save the game. We must enter quickly. Oh, or we could just enter it slowly. That's also an option. That's fine. Doesn't matter. So you need to get music boxes. Because again, the Silent Hill 2 does things where you need like, three items, put them in a place, get a key, do things. Also, wow. credit to the team for making a really complicated uh, crypto there for that briefcase. All right. Yeah, all the random puzzles in this game are like, we've, I've tried to look into RNG Manip for it, like proper RNG Manip. The, the process that determines the exact like, outcome of those is incredibly thorough, which is annoying because it means I can't work with it. The RNG actually settles once you enter the hotel. No, it starts at the start of the game. Really? Everything is yeah. the moment you hit game right start. Right as you start. I thought the uh, briefcase was different. No. 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 I want to know. Big man Japan found that out. We've learned that recently. We are making developments into this, but like the game is actually really robustly programmed on that front, which annoys me to no end. Like, I will complain if the game is programmed badly. I will complain if it's programmed well. You can't win. Just don't, don't try. Why, why try? You just have to save the game. I'm doing a good job at that right now. <laughs> no, slow. Don't this, miss it. Don't miss it. Miss. Oh, <laughs> he missed it. Miss. The VCR is impossible. It, well, it, it's the thinnest hitbox in the game. I it swear. is really it's thin. It's obsolete technology. Like, where else are you going to use a videotape but a VCR? I can't use that here, he says. Blockbuster? They don't exist. When, There's like one in Alaska. When did this, when did this game come out? In 2001. 2001 yeah. There's yeah. blockbusters okay, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, no, okay, right. Yeah, forget, this game's really old, isn't it? <laughs> that was one like, maybe Alaska, I think. I just made everyone in the audience feel like 20 years older. Yeah. It's the joy of blockbuster. And Hollywood video. Stop. <laughs> family video. Where's my cursor? Family what? Family video, you ever heard of family, family video? What? I don't remember that one. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. This is culturally completely beyond me. That is a lot of health kits, though. I ain't touching them. I don't need them. You think I need health kits? What about that ammo? I might need ammo. I did waste like two shots on the, the invisible child. Do you need to save the game, though? Yes. So we're covered. Immediately leave. Water, fire, water. It's the elements. Silent Hill 2. 
This turn coming up is impossible and I never get it. Let's see if I get it. This turn. This turn's impossible. No, I can't. I don't get it. That's, that's really hard. That's it's impossible. very hard. These no, always no are one's so ever narrow. done it in the history of video games. Don't get poked. Uh, it's not happening. I'm juking. He did dodge it. I bunked a little, whatever. So we're coming up on the two final bosses here. I can kill this in potentially two shots if I get a very good, like, hit off on him. So like, this might be two or three, I'm not sure. No, it's dead. Two. Oh, so very nice. Good boss fight. You need to not yeah, get in oh. the way. Great boss fight. And now you get the eggs. Always get eggs. It's Easter. The eggs are symbolic, I think. Yeah. I don't even know how they relate to the game, in all honesty. Ask the wiki. Actually, don't. We've established that. You have to don't, edit don't in the, the reason. <laughs> Just edit in the reason the, the eggs are symbolic. They'll reverse it. They will. They re keep reversing my edits, you <laughs> cowards. They are afraid of the truth. Okay, so now we will go into the options menu. Ooh. Ooh. Control Ooh. style change. I'm playing on keyboard now. Why, you ask? You'll see. But now I've changed the control style back to standard tank control. So, like, Man. turning now makes sense what rather than being a pile of nonsense. Brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want flowers. You don't want any damn flowers. Do you want to stay out of the game? I want Arby's. Oh, <laughs> Mary, what are you saying? Mary wants the meats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the reason of the change to tank controls here is because on this section, for dramatic effect, I assume it prevents you from running up these stairs, but you can strafe run up the stairs. They didn't think of that. You can't strafe on the other control style. So, yes, like the control style switch does work out significantly faster. Because imagine walking up all these flights of stairs, but like strafe running is a bit weird. And conveniently, it's right at the end of the game, so we yep, get all yeah. the benefits. No, oh, I'm stuck on something. Whatever. What and I need again. Yeah, I got Maria. Oh. Okay. Ah, immediate moth. That's bad. That's why I don't like Maria. <laughs> Whatever. She should die in two hits. And, and time. Oh, time. Time. Yep. Woo! Oh, let's see what that time is, by the way. Let's see. How many saves? 4055. 4055? 2523! Beat that. I milked it for all it was worth. I'm just saying, I already put in the donation during the run. I don't know if it went in yet. The <laughs> game I didn't crash! Woo! We did it! <laughs> did it go through or no? That's the first run that hasn't crashed! At a GDQ! <laughs> Woo! Everyone's crashed this game at a GDQ! I didn't crash the game. We did it. You didn't crash the game? No, no. Oh, with you cheat. You play with like the thing on the I played on not. keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> so you used keyboard at the end and it helped. Whatever. Yo, Yo Punchy. You I got, ruined my thunder. I got 20 bucks from McDice is saying, I'm a man of my word, here's 20 towards your choice, Punchy. That was fun. Rats on the stage. Oh, I did it like during the boat. Yeah. I was on my phone for like a good chunk. I knew you were going to beat it. Genius. Sorry, what was the... Well, you did save comment? the game. Oh, that was me saying grats on the saves. That's a lot of saves. <laughs> a lot of saves. Oh, yeah, it's a ton. It's a... It's, yeah, it's a lot of saves. Save high score. It's way too many saves. Well, you did have help. I did have help. So, now, because you wonderful people donated for it, dog ending. The best ending. I wanted UFO. I think, I think both of us did deep down in our hearts, but on the other hand, it is the better ending. Uh, hot question, which one of my saves actually has uh, the, uh, the dog ending on it? Uh, That's a fantastic question. We'll find out live. One of them has to have it, right? Third floor? That's the wrong one. It has to be the one with I, have, uh, I definitely have a save file. Please do not panic. I'm panicking. I'm not panicking. Uh-oh. No, it's good. All right, okay. Oh, All right, there I, I still have tank control. There. Excuse me. You have to tank your controls your way there. Where's the videotape? Just put the doggy in there. No. You have to use the videotape. <laughs> that is a requirement of this ending for reasons I don't really understand. You don't put bones in your VCR? Stop opening the menu. What button? What button do I have this bound to? This is e. the problem of learning this game on 2D, by the way. Uh, now, time. ladies and gentlemen, dog key, dog ending. <laughs> Woo! We got your sign, Punchy. Oh my no, she was a Tatunoka. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
We found it. What do you mean you found it? They handed it to us. <laughs> they. The old gods. <laughs> okay, fine. I will accept that. Hey, it got you 2,500. It did. I saved the game a lot. Boo that man's kneecaps. Hitting the mic. <laughs> And it continues to go. See, flush lips. He's choking. I don't, I don't know where some of these clips come from. I think from the game. Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sums up how I feel, really, that noise. <laughs> Eddie's fat gut. It's beautiful. Slowly phase into view. Better than the crack. <laughs> Pizza Frisbee! Pizza! <laughs> I don't know where this falling clip comes from. He just falls out of nothing. I actually don't know if that's possible to happen. I don't know how to cause that. Yeah, push that shelf. Push. Truly the best joke ending in all the video games. Oh. Woo! I don't know if I'm allowed to show that or not. Whatever. Well, I did. It happened. Deal with it. You saved it. You saved it. No, it's dog getting. You fine people donated for that. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> it was worth. <laughs> Woo! Check out. Ah, oh, skip the results screen. Whatever. That's the different results. That was Silent Hill 2, everyone. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks to my wonderful couch. I stop trolling me when I'm doing <laughs> my everything. Well, you have a game saved. I did save the game a whole bunch. Uh, up next, we have Tomb Raider 2, and after that, Tomb Raider Range of Darkness. I personally recommend these runs. Like, hang around for that. You have made it to real GDQ hours. <laughs> Tomb Raider runs are great. Please, enjoy it. Whoa! Woo! Thank you, Punchy, for that awesome Silent Hill 2 run. Coming up next, we got Tomb Raider 2 by Smooth Operative. After that, Tomb Raider the Angel of Darkness by Plastic Rainbow. And after that, Near Automata by Fullis. So we got a full night ahead of us. The spooky games are over for now. We can go ahead and rest easy. I do want to shout out to Weposol18, who donated $3,000. $3,000 from Weposol18. I don't need money, I just want memes. Let's start 2019 right. All right, I, we're going to go ahead and take the stream down for just one moment. It's going to be, you know, a quick fix for us, a quick little tech adjustment. We'll be right back. Uh, nothing's going to really happen, or you could go ahead and post all the emotes that act like everything is burning down. I would do that. We'll be right back at Awesome Games on Quick 2019.
All right, we're back, streams live. So once again, welcome back to Awesome Games 2019. We are raising money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. The Prevent Cancer Foundation is the only US-based nonprofit organization solely dedicated to cancer prevention and early detection. Their mission is saving lives across all populations through cancer prevention and early detection. Their vision is to stop cancer before it starts. We have a hundred dollar donation from Anonymous with Game Saved, and two fifty from Anonymous as well. Thank you very much. Game Commander donated fifty dollars, saying donating early for the near automata run since I'll be asleep. Good luck, folks. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to seeing that great cosplay commentary. It's going to be great. Zoku Bun donated $25, saying there are better cures for extra late night blues than exercise like foggy jogging. Thanks to all the staff and runners at GDQ for all the work going to an amazing cause. Now work those fingers, Punchy. <laughs> Missing Link X donated $250. I woke up at the, start of, at the start of Punchy Silent Hill 2 run, so I had to donate. Good luck with saving your game. In the wonderful world of Bid Wars, Nier Automata's final name has a new leader. Uh, this is going to be odd to say. Chungus has taken first place, so shout out to Chungus for being the current number one uh, file name for Nier Automata. $3,600 have been raised to name something Chungus. That's, just, that's pretty impressive. Alex Navarro, about 800 bucks behind. And to be or not to be, the pun, $900 behind. Still a tight race. Chris97 donated $50, saying, Night Squad, Night Squad, go, go, go. Night Squad, Night Squad, can't go slow. Xanth99 donated $10, saying, I lost my mom a few years ago to cancer. Want to help make sure it can stop happening to others. Looking forward to Tomb Raider and Silent Hill. Good luck, runners. Thank you all. Man Bear Paradox donated $100. Thank you, Man Bear Paradox. Coming up in challenges, Sonic Forces Extra Stages is about $2,200 away. So if you want to go ahead and get the full Sonic Forces experience, got to get those donations going and hit that $7,500 uh, target. Additionally, the bonus game, Sonic Mania Plus, is 22K short. So if you want to see some of the, the best Sonic, recent Sonic in quite some time, $22,000 are missing for that. Josh227 donated $50. Love the scary games getting run. I can never play through them myself. I get way too scared, so it's awesome to see a playthrough. Thank you, Josh. And I hope we can go ahead and break down that, that horror game uh, blockage.
we have $200 donations from Aid. Figured I'd donate now and give a shout out to my fellow late night East Coasters. Donating for the Sonic Mania Plus race because the more games, the better. Everyone keep on keeping on. And it is about 3 a.m. here on the East Coast, so we are in the middle of our late, like, late night block here at Awesome Games on Quick 2019, raising money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Don't forget, donators can win prizes here at Awesome Games and Quick. Just go ahead and check out the Games and Quick website. The stuff we have right now is the AGDQ 2019 Next Level Banner, as well as an awesome replica Master Sword and Hylian Shield. Go ahead, check out what we got. We'll always be displaying the prize available, too, at the bottom of the screen every now and then. So go ahead, keep on watching for those cool things you can win.